What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on Miami of Ohio and got beat in a really close one, 31 to 28, practically a Hail Mary situation in the end. We had like one play left to attempt something, but we were like, we had to get 80 yards and it just wasn't going to happen. Just a hard fought battle throughout. They just made more plays than we did. It just, it is what it is. But we are three and four. Hopefully we can get back in the win column today as we take on Bowling Green and another road trip. Now they got a little bit more talent than what we just saw against Miami of Ohio. But you look at their stats, they do, uh, their passing offense is okay. Their rush defense is okay. But there's nothing really spectacular in what they do. But they're four and four. They're kind of having the same uh, season that we are just in terms of results. So something's got to give, but hopefully we can get the win. Now go to recruiting before we head into the game. We're down to the same four guys. Tackle Drew McCoy. We got his next week is the Toledo week. Hopefully he can survive until then because if you notice, uh, we actually get the first visit first. That's right. I forgot. It's this kid right here, Bruce Lucas, where he has already visited Purdue, but he did not commit. Can we survive one more week so we can get him here in next week? Hopefully that'll work out, but no positive pitch there or for him either. Then we got tight end Scott Harwell. He still hasn't trimmed it down to his top three, which is fine, to be honest. But we're still trying to figure out what he's really into. Then last but not least, Jared Dawson, another Toledo visit. We just don't have a positive pitch. And if you look here, we do have the first visit, which is good. So we're in good shape for all these guys. We just got to be careful with this one right here. And hopefully that he doesn't commit at the end of this video, which we will see here towards the end. So let's go ahead into the game. Now, Bowling Green, I, they run a spread offense. They're pretty much Urban Meyer's offense, but we'll look at see what their roster looks like. Uh, Good-looking uniforms. I'll probably stick with those. Have they got an alternate? No, they do not, which is fine. Epic battle against them two seasons ago. I think last year we beat about a couple of touchdowns. They got a bunch of players hurt. Hopefully that'll help us, but so do we. we should, our quarterback, Jackson, is out. He should be back for the Toledo game, if I'm not mistaken. I could be off a week. I know Pace is going to be back the week after that. Looks like we got a pretty day for the football. Not many fans in the stands. Just, I guess they just kind of gone downhill this season. I don't remember what their record was last year. I don't think it was good. So things are not trending in the right direction for Bowling Green. Hopefully that'll help us out today. Cold weather, but no harsh winds. I think we're going to be okay on that front. Just two middle-of-the-road teams right now, but it's a lot left to be played. And I think I just noticed uh, the team we just got beat by, Miami of Ohio, already got a loss, which is good. So that's going to help us. But we got to continue to win, though. That's the key. And I accidentally hit the button. I'm sorry. Uh, I think that was going to highlight Gardner. Let's go to the coin toss. They want it, and they will receive, which is fine. Let's check out their roster. Starting off, quarterback, pocket passer. He's a dual threat guy, 78 speed. He's a big old lefty. Backup's a pocket passer. So we'll just see what I'm, I may blitz him some today. We'll see. And they got an impact halfback. So just another nightmare scenario, impact halfback and a dual threat quarterback. You couldn't ask for a much worse situation, but we'll deal with it. Fullback, uh, they got a dude there, but they don't, we're not going to use him much. Wide receiver, a bunch of average dudes, 82, 78, a bunch of dudes in the 70s. Tight end, two guys in the 80s, not bad, but both of them are blockers. You look at their offensive line. So their left tackle is out, and that's going to be helpful, kind of a drop-off there. Left guard, that's a big drop-off. He's out for six weeks, so that'll be a drop-off. Then you go to center, 78, 76, and then 87, a right tackle. So other than right tackle, it's kind of a hard a situation to be in. So we'll see if their backfield can overcome that. I'm pretty sure they run a 4-3, 85, and this guy is out. So they got some big-time players out for like two more months. So that's a drop-off there. Defense tackle, 82 and 78. We'll see how our guards can handle that. Linebacker, 70, 78, and 80, 76. Corners, first-team All-American, apparently. This kid right here, 82 overall, 95 speed. Uh, he could have been a special teams guy. That may be the reason why. But free safety, impact guy. We'll try to stay away from him today. But then strong safety at 82. So their secondary isn't too bad uh, outside of this kid right here. So we may be able to attack that side a little bit more. We'll see. 
Kicker, really good, 87 overall, and just a sophomore. Wow, good pickup for them. And then punter, sophomore, 78. So their special teams has a bright future. All right, let's get this show on the road. Hopefully we can get the win. It's going to be a challenge with that backfield. So I'm expecting a ton of running, a ton of speed option. Make a tackle, somebody. I'm going to play, I guess, a lot of man today. I'm just, again, I'm expecting a ton of running. When you got a backfield like that, you know, it's kind of expected. And they're going to spread us out, which is going to make things harder. I'm going to do this. I'm going to shift over because that blitz is on that other side. They're going to pass it. I guess that's a drop. I think my defender had a good hand on it, though. Second and ten. They're going back the three wide. I'm going to go... Four two five cover two. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own twenty-eight. Love seeing lefty quarterbacks. I'm a lefty myself. Green. Passing it again. He throws it and it's Good open field tackle. So that makes it a third and long. I'm gonna go to cloud. We'll go cloud. Look at how dominant they've been on defense. Oh, I guess I'll go after him. I'm a little nervous by doing that. I hope I'm not off sides. I don't think I am. He's going, oh, he's a lefty. I completely forgot about that. So I got to control the other guy. If you're going up against a lefty quarterback, they're going to run to their left and vice versa. So I'll control the other one. But thankfully, we made a good stop there. So that's a, a good start. We got to capitalize on this and get a touchdown. We've gained a possession. So they got decent kicker, so I wasn't expecting him to have a bad kick there. We'll fair catch it. Let me make a couple changes there. And then from here, let's just see what happens. No impact guys on the front seven. That should be helpful. Uh, we'll go ahead and run to the left. Get to the outside. So get a few yards there with Gardner. Not a bad play. Only three yards, so let's go option. Now, they're not going to flip their safety, so I'm not worried about that. That safety should always stay there. Get a block right there. Get a good block, everybody. First down. Just be patient with the blocking right here, even with my right tackle getting beat. Not using the speed button until about right there, and then I'm just going to go ahead and pitch it. First down. Uh, let's just stay here and... Go tackle. First and ten. Ball on their own 42. Let me look. It looks like the strength of their defensive line's on the right side, but I'm going to go to the right again. Good defense. Nobody picked up that one guy. Uh, second and ten. I may... We'll go back to off tackle from tight. Then we'll figure out what to do on third down. Let's go back to the left. Let's go to our best player. Get a block right oh, Nobody picked up the free safety. So that makes a third and six. Uh, I mean, hmm, I think I'm going to go back to option. Hope for the best here, but let's see if we can get something going, get a block, pitch that one. First down, just enough. Whew, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> so that makes it, what, first and ten? I'm going to go play action. I think it's time to try that. Their safety, I'm not going to do that against a free safety, that's for sure. But I can attack that strong safety. I think we could be okay. We'll see. Cover two, sack. Nobody picked up the block. Oh, well. Second and forever. I'm going to try. I'm going to go halfback option. That was a bad play, but it's, I had to try it. Let's cut up field. Get a block right there. First down, Gardner. Good job. So I'm going to go back to him. We'll go back here. Let's try. Uh, I'm going to flip this one. We'll go Sting. Ah, I, I didn't really mean to flip that. I kind of wanted to go to the left, to the right. I actually may go to the right anyways because of that guy moving over there. Just do something like this. First down there. Just be patient with the blocking. First and ten. I'm going to try triple from wide. 
Again, my guards just can't handle triple too much this season, but we're going to give it a shot. I'm going to go to the right. Good gaping hole, but it got block, blocked up pretty quickly. Second and eight. Or closed up, I should say. I think I'm going to go to the right again. Get to block everybody. Six points. Good job. No flag, please. All right, good deal. That's a great start. Let's see if we can get a good replay on this one. Just good pickup on the blocks from everybody. Just jog right into the end zone. Let's see if I can get a good thumbnail. Something like this, maybe, would be pretty nice. That would be pretty cool. Let me go ahead and get that one while I'm here. All righty. Let's keep it up. I'll we'll have to get back on defense and see if we can slow it down again. Now, they threw the ball quite a bit on their first drive. I'm fully expecting them to run more, you would think. But it's also possible, you know, a lot of these coaches and their settings, they're built into where they're designed to kind of throw the ball a certain percentage that's in the coach settings. You can look up any coach to see what theirs are. But you would think with some impact players in the backfield, they want to run the ball more. But if they want to throw all day, I'm, I'm actually happy with that. Anything to keep it away from that impact halfback, especially. That's a face mask. Saw that one a mile away. That's a five-yarder. They're going to get it on the 34. Going five wide. Uh, um, I'm going to go quarters from nickel. Do something like this. He'll run to my side if he does decide to run. They may go QB draw. Going over there. Out of bounds. He threw a little too late. That makes it second and ten. I'm going to go back to 4-2-5. Cover two. We'll do something like this. Don't run off tackle, please. To the left. It's going to make a good catch there by the halfback. So it's third and short. They're going goal line. Ooh, let's see what happens. I'm going to go man lock. They seem to be throwing quite a bit, so we'll do that. I'm still going to do something like this. Play action. Ah. My defender went for a, a swat on that one, I guess. It looked really weird. So let's go back to quarters. So I predicted it correctly. Just got to execute better. This ain't good. So I'm going to make a play back there. Thankfully, he overshot it just enough. That's second and 10. I, uh, I'm going to go one high from nickel on this one. I may be making a mistake by just by throwing so much man. I'm just expecting a lot of running, and they're just not doing it. I'm going to shade over this way. Play action. And, oh, good defense. Oh, but what happened here? Hopefully it's like a holding. Holding. So that makes it what? Third and 10 or second and 20? All right, let's go second and 20. I, I'm going to go back. I, let's just do quarters. I think they're determined to throw it a lot. If that's the case, this is what we'll do. I'm going to do something like this. Yep, passing again. All right. That's fine by me. So let's go ahead and go cloud on a third and 17. I got to control this guy, I guess, don't I? I'm not worried about this guy picking up 17 yards. I mean, he could do it. I may just play like a quasi-spy look. Great defense, everybody. Stokes is having a good game so far, so we're, that is on the 42. I'm going to try... Let's do double cross. This may be a little too far back for it. But we'll see. Maybe he'll shank it to the right. He need it. Get a block on the left, people. Get a block on the left. Get over there. Get over there. Oh, that was a decent return. So we're on the left hash. 
I'm going to go back to this play right here. They're going man. I'm going to run to the right. I just got beat badly on that play. Somebody got pushed back big time as my right guard. Now you see why I don't run much triple plays like that. <laughs> so that makes it what? Let's go basic power. I'll probably run to the right. Yeah, let's go ahead and just run to the right. Get a block. Good block right there. Ah, oh, man. So that makes it what? Third and two, third and three. I may, hmm, let's try to tackle. Are they going to go goal line on me? No, they're not. But they're going 5-2, which means i got to go to the right anyways. Good job. Just be patient with the blocking. Keep breaking tackles. Lord knows we're going to need it today. So that's a good play there. Should I go? Like, I would love to try to play action play again. We can try it again. We need good blocking. Oh, what I should have done is probably block Allen. So let's go ahead and do that. I think he can hear this. There we go. Nope, he's not open. We'll go over here. Ooh, I think he was. So I think I moved. I messed up here. Look how deep. He was wide open back there. Dang it, Al. This safety kind of glitched. That's that 4-3 play, cover two zone that kind of glitches with that strong safety, and I just whiffed it. That was my fault. Oh, man, wasted opportunity right there. But that's okay. We're doing fine, it seems. They're going 5-2. I'm going to go to the left. Show them something a little different. Ah, just whew, just enough. I'm not going to bother with that. It's not worth him forcing a fumble, so we'll just get a first down. Four seconds. Let's try basic option. We can go back to the right. Get a block right there. Good defense. He's going to break a tackle, though. That's going to be helpful. We'll pick up seven. But it may be coming back. We may have a holding or a clipping. Clipping. So where's that at? Ooh, first and 23. That was way back there. That was on Gardner in the backfield. So that's the end of the first quarter. We're up seven. That's good. But we had a bad penalty right there, so let's see if we can make that up. I'm going to do another basic run. We'll go off tackle. Uh, we'll go to the right, get a block right there. Ooh. There we go. Well, we got some of the yards back. I love this little half juke. Just enough of a whoop. That could actually be a pretty good thumbnail. Something like this would be pretty cool. Something like that. Oh, that would be a really good thumbnail. Let me go ahead and just get that one while I'm here. You don't see that juke too often in this game. You got to time it just right. So second and 11. What's a good idea? Um, let's try halfback option from wide. As long as they don't spread out, we'll be okay. I'm going to go to the left. Oop, dang it, dang it, dang it. Just pitch it, pitch it, pitch. Nope. Just all that was all kinds of rough. <laughs> so really weird. So I'm trying to pitch it. So good job by that defensive end. Kind of spooked me a little bit. So I cut, cut right back up. And here I am. I'm I'm hitting the pitch button. Like, look, I, I'm trying to pitch it and it won't pitch it. So I don't know what happened there. I'm trying to pitch it again and he won't pitch it. Now he finally pitched it. That just we're lucky we got the yards we did. So it's third and five. I think I'm going to go back to just basic power. And I'll probably go back to the right again. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Right to the outside, first down. Face mask. Oh, they got to call it. So we're slowly moving down the field. It's taking us a little bit. So let's just keep it simple and just get down here and get a touchdown. So they got an extra defender on the left. I'm going to run to the right. Can I get there? Touchdown. All right, so it's Allen's show for now. But that's because of that free safety is on Gardner's side where he usually runs to. So we'll just continue to go to the right. So we're up two scores. I'm going to kick an extra point, then we'll get back on defense. Ooh, 
So a really good start. We couldn't ask for anything better. So I guess I'm going to play a lot more zone the rest of the way. They just seem determined to throw it, and it very well could be because their impact quarterback, who is an 85 overall, well, this guy's a plus. Yeah, so technically the quarterback is better than the halfback. So what what is overridden is the quarterback's overall, which means they will pass more. So that kind of makes more sense now. I didn't pay attention to that earlier. Thankfully, that quarterback's got a better overall than the halfback. Otherwise, we'd be seeing a lot of running today, possibly. Make a tackle. There we go. That may be coming back. That could be another clip. And so a lot of flags so far today between both teams. We'll definitely accept it. Get them on the 12. They're going back to five wide. Do I got the players to run dime? I, I should know this by now. Let's look at my corners. 68, not really. Hickman could play right here. I didn't think I should have done that way at the beginning of the season. I did. So we can still do that. But I'll, I'll stick with nickel. I'm okay with that. It just comes down to we want Stokes out here or a backup safety playing a strong. I don't know. It's just kind of tough. So, so interesting play here. Look on the left side. This was an interference right here. They didn't call it. If they would have thrown it in his direction, probably would have been. But he got stuck on the safety. Oh, this guy got stuck. I'm sorry. You go back right here. The impact halfback got stuck on the middle linebacker. Either way, it's a drop pass, so it doesn't matter. So it is second and ten. We'll just go back to quarters. Matchups and scheme makes all the difference in the world when you're going up against... Oh, here comes direct. Oh. First down. We got a hit on him, but it didn't matter. First and ten. I'm still staying in course. I think they're going to pass now. That's like they're just sec their, what, second run on the day? We'll do something like this. QB draw. Make a tackle. Going to pick up five. Four. Now they're running the ball a little bit more. So let me go one high. Let's blitz our nickel. I'm going to do this. That way we got somebody on the outside on both ends. Bad throw there, which makes a third and six. Just enough to where I think they will throw it. If it was third and four or so, then I think they would run it. So let's do something like this. I'll control Freeman. I'll just stay back. Great play. I think Hickman got a hand on it, or I, maybe it was McCutcheon. Thankfully, this quarterback is not hitting his spots at the moment. So we got to take advantage of it. We got to get a touchdown here. How about another shank punt to the right? That would be nice. Nope, pretty decent one. Somebody get a block on the right for me. Get some yards, not a whole lot. I'm going to try play action again. We're going to go back to that same play. I should have had a touchdown on that last time we called it, and I just I goofed up on it. Cover one. Good throw to Morris. Pick up eight or so. Second and two. I'm going to go Sting. Second down and two to go. Just a basic handoff for Gardner. And they're, uh, let's go to the left. Yep, just be patient with it there. Get a first down. Don't fumble it. Stay on the left hash. Let's try. Basic option again. I think they're going zone, so I may have to cut up. Let's try that. Cut up with the quarterback just like that. Just stick with it. Don't don't need to pitch it first down. So we're on the 26. I could try a play action play, but I don't know if it's worth it at the moment. Let's just run the ball. I'd like to just kind of run, run, run a little bit. Maybe that'll run down that clock some. Now I'm not going to run it on purpose. Good defense. Uh, 
I know we got five yards, but they were in the right position for that one. Second and five. Just let that clock continue to kind of do its thing. By the time we get in the end zone, maybe we can just get a touchdown. But the clock is stopped. I'll probably go back to the right. We're doing a good job on this right side. I mean, that's Allen's third touchdown already. So we found a weakness on that side, apparently. We're getting pretty good push. Thankfully, their passing attack is nowhere near as lucky as Miami was last game. That was awful. Don't get me started on it. That number 10, that tight end, just made one crazy play after another. It was on that what, punt return. That punt pay, well, it was a fake punt. The Hail Mary just, oh. And our passing game was atrocious that day. Like, we couldn't, we had a lot of drops. Just a bad combination. We were lucky we only got beat by three. I think we had an extra turnover as well. But we're playing a whole lot better today. Fumble, somebody pick it up. So you need you need luck like that. You need plays like this to give yourself a chance. So I'm going to go half-mac option. Ooh, 5-2. Please don't spread out. Crunching in. Thank you. We'll go back to the right. Get a block right there. Get a block right there. We're going to let Allen get his fourth. Fourth and a half. Incredible. Good for him. Garner's been getting a lot of love this year, but once Allen got that impact status, we're able to fully unleash that kid. Wow. Number four. That's incredible. Good for him. So we're up four touchdowns, and it is an absolute blowout, so we got to keep it up. There's two minutes to go, and we still got three timeouts, so I'd love to get the ball back one more time before the half. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Akron. Let's see if we can do this again. Our defense, they're playing. Everybody's playing outstanding. It, it just helps when everybody does their part, you know. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And thankfully, they're not running their impact halfback. We're just very fortunate there. They easily could. They could be running option. Imagine if they were running option and halfback direct a ton. But they have chosen not to, so that's on them. So let's go back. Let's just play soft coverage. I don't think this quarterback can handle it. I don't think he can just pick us apart all day. He hasn't done it yet. Halfback dive. Good stop. Wow. Okay. Second and nine. They're going five wide here. I'm going to go quarters from dime. So is that worth it doing that? Not. It's okay. We got enough depth at strong safety to move. I thought I moved Hickman down. I guess I was wrong. Good open field tackle by our middle linebacker. So I'm not going to call a timeout just yet because if they convert this, then I'm giving them a free timeout. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to give them any momentum. So let's see what they do here. They may just run the ball, or they're going to try to go for it. I don't know. Tough situation to be in when your offense isn't playing well. So to see, they're running clocks. So that tells me they'll probably run the ball. So I got to be careful here. Nope, they're going to pass it. Good job. Everybody got to stop, and I didn't have to waste a timeout. So there's a minute 22 to go. We're going to get the ball back. We got all three timeouts. So let's go and try to score one more touchdown and really put them out of their misery. We may have a short video today if we run enough clock in the second half, especially in the fourth. Get a block over there. Looks like that's not going to happen. So, minute 16, I'm going to run the ball. In this offense, you can kind of get away with it if you get enough decent blocks and such. Especially the way we've been playing today. Now, they're spreading out. That may be tough. I think I need to get to the sideline quicker, so let's go to the right. Did I get out of bounds? I did. Second and 10. We can try vertical. Let's see if Ferguson can handle this. I'm going to go to long. Unless I'm feeling the heat. Nope, not much pressure. Yep, I'm feeling the heat there. Let's go get up field, get something like that. Third and three. And we stop the clock. I'm going to go to power. And they're not going goal line. Interesting. And there's, uh, what's a better idea? Let's go to the left. Get a block right there. Good block. Good block. I'm going to run. Get out of bounds. 
We're going to go back to option. They're going dime. I'm going to run to the right. And they're double teaming our receiver. That's fine by me. You get a block right there. Good pitch. And Allen's going to get number five on the day. Oh, my gosh. In one half. That has to be a record for me. I don't know if I've ever done that before. Five and one half. Incredible. Good for you, son. Good for you. He's made up more than one game. Oh, just in insane. That's awesome to see. So he's definitely going to get the thumbnail of the game. 34 to nothing. So just a complete contrast to what we went up against in the previous game. So there's a minute to go. And I still didn't use a timeout, did I? I don't think I used a single timeout on that drive. I didn't have to. I just kind of timed everything just well. Got out of bounds when I needed to. Do something like this. Everybody make a good decision here. Get a stop. Four, four, four. I'm, let's go zone. They may just want to run out the rest of the clock, and if they do so, I'm okay with that. But they may try to make something of this. Let's see what they do. Play action. Interesting. And I was way out of position there, but it was still an incompletion. Second and ten. I mean, are they going to throw again? Are they this dumb? Go to the half. Don't make things any harder on yourself than it already is. This is just a good matchup for us. They were the top team in the conference well, in the first season. We beat them. We beat them last year. And again, they're not running their impact halfback, which again boggles my mind. They may do that here. I'm going to get right on them, though, son. We're going to call another timeout. And I am going to try to score one more time before the half. So we got two timeouts, 45 seconds. Would be hilarious if we could hang 42 on them. And maybe get another touchdown for Allen, <laughs> which would be insane. Uh, so get a block on the left, somebody. Nope, not going to happen. Ooh, there kind of was one. Oh, man. Okay, no big deal. Let's go back. Let's go option. Normally we would pass, but in this offense, we can kind of run the ball. Get a block. Pitch it there. Have to call a timeout now. I may have to throw. Pretty decent defense, even though we got eight yards on that. We can try vertical again. I don't have very many pass plays in this offense. Don't really need a ton. So they're going man. Let's see. They're going cover one. And I got hit when I threw it. Is he going to get it? Oh, great catch. Call another timeout. I threw it right at the last millisecond before I got blasted. Just hit that corner route, one of my favorite routes in the game. Takes some time to develop, but it's fun to throw to. So we got no more timeouts. So I guess I need to throw some more. We'll, let's just pass it again. Cover. Well, they're going man. We'll see what they go with. Cover one again. Make a play. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ferguson. Two killer passes to the same route, the corner route from the exact same play. They went cover one both times. So that's my cover one beater hitting that corner route. Incredible. All right. So this game is over with. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this now. We're taking these guys out. They've done their part. We got too much to play for the rest of the way. I'm going to put in Rich. Uh, no, we'll put in right there. Yeah, just making sure. We only got four A-backs active at the moment, and Randall's a fullback, so we're going to do that. And I don't have any more impact guys to take out. So we're going to do that. And then once I get to the fourth quarter, I'm going to flip that. And we're going to put in the mass subs. I don't want to do the mass subs now. They'll probably start scoring really quickly. Well, I mean, I can go ahead and try that. Like, we can go back here. 
I can go ahead and do that again. Let me just go back to Gardner. We'll put in Allen right here. We'll put in Rich or New Wales, sorry. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to do that. We're going to leave that as is. I, again, I can do the mass subs. This is the earliest I've ever done mass subs before. I probably should have waited a couple more drives. I can go ahead and do that now. Let's just go do mass subs. I'll sub in the second team at the beginning of the second, uh, third quarter. Make a stop, somebody. 18 seconds. Let's just survive the next 18 seconds. Then we'll make all that switch again. Now, they may be running it here, so I may have goofed up probably going zone, but let's see what they do. I probably should have kept this guy over. Let's see. Oh, they're going to pass it. Jeez. <laughs> Fine. And he terrible quarterback. Golly, what's his deal? Just a bad throw. I'm going to go 4-2-5, cover two. Five for 16 on the day. The only reason why he's still out there is because he hasn't thrown an interception. Interesting. I think that's a glitch. Oh, and there he goes. He's going to probably score a touchdown. Ooh. We stopped them there. So interesting play. I think that's a bit of a glitch play of some sort. He just didn't hand it off. Some plays in the running game, when you flip it, the formation or flip the play in general, it doesn't work well. It worked out well for them. Picked up like 20 yards. I'm going to do this. Uh, yeah, I'll just stick with Grant. I know he's a lefty. He may run to the left. I'll come from the back side if I can. Oh, there he goes. So I'm going to make a play on it. Good tackle. Ow. Shoo. So he did run to the left. All right, end of the first half. Not a bad game. 42 to nothing. <laughs> I think we played okay. For some reason, everything just kind of clicked for us today. So let's go to stats and scores. 365 to their 94. 292 yards rushing to their 73. We are 73 yards to their 21. Like, even our passing game is doing better than theirs. 100% on third down, only 16% for them. It's a complete slobber knocker, and you cannot ask for anything better from us. I mean, there's, it's the goodest uh, half as you could ask for. So Ferguson, five for five. Again, just having a killer game, one touchdown, running the ball. It's the Allen Show. He's got 190 yards and five touchdowns. I could shatter records today and break all kinds of them, both national, a team, anything, if I kept him out there. But I can't because we got to win a bunch of more games to hopefully get to that conference title game, and that matters more. No offense to records, but I want to win more games, and he's done for the day. Garner's played just fine on his own, 89 yards, but again, it's just been the Allen show. But Elamimian, our quarterback, had that nice one return or uh, gain. I guess that was an option play of ours. Receiving Gardner, Morris, and Williams. That's just kind of the way it's worked out. Defensively, Stokes is leading in tackles. He's got one tackle for loss, no sacks, and no interceptions. So let's head back to it. Now we got our backups in there now. So everything's going to stay the same except we got less talent out there. So I'm going to check my depth really quick. Let me go through here. And we'll just run our normal stuff. So, like, Gardner is still out there because of formation subs and such. Oh, yeah, I forgot to take him out. I'm an idiot. Let's go try that again. There we go. This is what I was supposed to do. That's more like it. So, Allen is in there. So, forgive me if this next half will be very boring. I'm just going to try to get out of here with the win. I just, I'm not trying to look for style points. I just want to get the win so we can move on. Look at New Whale. Get a block right there. Get a block right there. New Whale. God, oh, killer run. Good blocking, everybody. Insane. We had a good push, and I had just enough of block right there by, I guess that was Allen. He's still out there somehow. He's out there for a lot of these, isn't he? Uh, okay. I need to take him out as well. Let me go here. Let me take Rich. There we go. That should work out better. Okay, that's what I wanted to say. The game doesn't recognize that I have two starters at, at halfback. 
So the clock has stopped. Let's go ahead and snap that. Get it out of bounds. Or get to the sideline. Great play by the Juco athlete. He's a junior. Just enough of a block on the left side. I think we stepped out of bounds too, didn't we? It's a clock. Clock is no nope, clock is running. It's so roll. We'll let it do. Uh, yeah, let's just run clock. I normally I don't do this, but I think everybody kind of understands. If the game was close-ish, I wouldn't bother. I always like to do this in the fourth quarter. But I'm gonna do this now because it's obvious the game is over and there's no way for them they can come back on us. Especially if we're gonna hang our seventh touchdown on them here, probably on this play, if not the next. Ah, good defense by the defensive end. So that makes it what. Uh, second and goal on the seven. I'm going to try option. We'll just run to the right more than likely. Hopefully we get decent blocking and just pick up a touchdown. So this is what our ninth game of the season or I, I, I know this is our eighth. So we got about four, maybe five more games to go. Uh, nope. Ooh, ah. That's kind of my fault. I got spooked right there, and I pitched it. We're lucky we got the ball back, so that makes it what? I'm going to go here. We're going to go half back option. We'll just run some more clock. If we don't convert here, we'll just kick a field goal. I'm going to go to the right. Stay away from that impact free safety. We're going to let New Whale handle this. I'll probably keep it with him unless it's just obvious I need to pitch it. Just get it down to a few more seconds. Get a block right there. And that was going to be a face mask. So another touchdown. 48 to nothing, and that was our second string out there running all over you. That's what the wishbone and the flex bone is supposed to look like. Now, I know we've been doing more wishbone than anything else because we just can't do much triple in this offense this season. But if you want to run the most basic run offense you can think of, it's probably this one. You just run left and right. I mean, it's I, I've had fun with this offense. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I like to do more triple. But these types of offenses aren't usually my favorite thing. Everybody knows me. I like to throw a little bit more. I like to get a little more uh, in depth with my playbook. I like to be able to attack weaknesses and it's really hard to do that with this type of offense but that's okay every offense has its own thing so do i have the bodies to stay in nickel so you look here look here no harsh red anywhere so i think we're okay do something like this screen Ooh, good throw over there to the that's why i designed that play to do that harder to defend both that slant and the screen Let's do another one high. We got two true freshman defensive ends out there. Good defense by McCutcheon, another freshman. They're going goal line. Uh, I I hope I got the bodies for this. Nope, I don't have one there. Don't. Uh, yes, I'm kind of shorthanded on. Whoever that number four is, so don't run to the right. You'll get, oh, on that play. Oh, I hate that play. I hate when they call it. They do a good job with us. That's a first down. We'll go back to nickel. They haven't even been past midfield much today. Like, it's just been a bad game for them all around. I'm going to bump and run a couple of these dudes if I can. Weird play. I don't know what happened. That oh, so here's what happened. The guy threw it way too early. This guy was running a wheel route, but he got so close to it that the other that wheel route tried to come and pick up the catch, and he got in the way. <laughs> so he played a little defense for us. Second and ten. I'm gonna go cover three from four two five. I don't think we call that today. Do something like this. Oh, good job, Al. I think got a hand on it with Hickman's. So that makes it, what, third and ten. We'll go cloud. Oh, do something like this. 
Lines up in the shotgun. Uh, I better control this guy. That's right. I'm just going to stay back. There he goes. He's going to run him with it. And he gets the first. So he ran to the left until he couldn't. He got he got stuck right there and had to force to the right. Good play by the quarterback. One of the few good plays of the day. So I, do I have the bodies to go 4 2 5? Uh, so Mackie, whoever that is, he's not a defensive end. Apparently he doesn't, he's probably a linebacker. Oh, good throw. Little wheel route to the tight end. They haven't been to the tight ends much today. That was a dime of a throw. Oh, Hickman almost got it. I'm going to go one high from nickel. We're going to blitz our linebacker. See, now I got defensive ends out there. Or I got offensive linemen playing defensive end. So this isn't good. Oh, just couldn't get to him in time. So that's a touchdown. I wasn't really expecting our second string defense to shut them out, especially with their first string still out there. 49 to 6. Let's see if we can just continue to run more clock and just keep it away from them. Eventually, they'll take their first string off the field. We'll get back on offense and just try to run again, run out this clock, get out of here, and we got bigger fish to fry. Cross your fingers. Hopefully that one commit or that one prospect will hold on for one more week and visit next week. I'm going to go sting. Just do a basic run. So they still got their first string out there. With their, you see their impact free safety. Get a good blocking right there. Just don't fumble it. Get about five or six. Second and four. Let's go power. Spreading out their linebackers. I may. Oh, gosh. That, let's just keep going to the right. Let's go to New Whale. I'd love to just go down the field and knock off like five minutes. That would be great. Get a block. Oh, get to the side. Oh, did he get it? I, I think he got it. Ooh, just enough. Good job, New Whale. Let's try tackle from tight. I think I may go back to New Whale. I think we got... Oh, Allen's in there now. Uh, I want to preserve him. The only reason why he's in there is because Rich is gassed. We got nobody else back there. So I'm going to go to the left. We'll let New Whale run it again. We're just running out of bodies at this point. Get up. Uh, nope. New Whale's a little gassed on that one. He got beat by a defensive end. Uh, let's go power option. We got no choice. We just don't have anybody else back there. So we're going to go to the right on this one. This should be the last play of the drive. Or of the quarter, unless I get out of bounds. I want to stay in bounds. But we'll let Illumimian and Allen handle this one. Get down to a couple of seconds. Ah, I got spooked on that one. Get a feel like that first down. We're going to let that clock roll. And then we will go to the fourth quarter and continue to do the same thing. So I've been, I don't know if I should say this or not, but I've been giving it some thought. I think once this season is over with, regardless of kind of like what happens, I may just take a break from Dynasty stuff for a while. I'm just kind of, just kind of burned out on just Dynasty content in general. I want to get back to doing some playbook and teaching stuff. So we'll see what happens with that. But I got to get, I want to get through this season first before I'm just kind of, I've been working on some new things. Get I'm capturing more playbooks for the site. Let's just get down. I'm not, I don't want him to hit me. So we'll see what happens with that. I'll probably mention that more once we get to the last video of the season, which will be the bowl game where whoever will play there. So we'll see what happens with that. But I'm, I feel pretty confident. I just need a break from dynasty 
just want to focus on stuff I really enjoy at the moment and always have been, which is, again, the playbooks. I got some really cool ideas with that. I've been capturing playbooks for NCAA Football 11 for the PS2. After that, I may try NCAA 04, the actual team playbooks. And then we'll see what happens beyond that. By then, I may... I'm trying to just capture as much as I can before the new game comes out in July. So I'm really excited about that because you know as soon as that game comes out, i got to capture all the information there. I'm going to go to the right on this one. Let's continue to run some clock. So hopefully by then we'll get some like playbook information. I don't know if they'll reveal too much before that game starts, at least for that. That's the only stuff I'm really interested in. Of course, we all want that game to be good in general. We can enjoy it for a solid year. Like their dynasty, hopefully it's solid. Hopefully the gameplay is solid. That's all we're asking for, just a solid game, not what we had to deal with with the PS3 games. Third and seven. I'm just going to do more off tackle. Then I may try a field goal. Uh, who is feeling it? Uh, let's just go to the left. I think Rich is a little more healthy at the moment. Continue to run a clock. Again, I'd love to get a first down here, get like maybe another first down. We can knock off maybe another minute and a half or so. Just get a block right there. I'm just going to get down. You can tell he's really slow. He's kind of feeling it. So what I'm going to do now, we got fullbacks I can hand the ball off to. I just forgot about that. Our B-backs. Give our A-backs a rest in terms of having to run it. I'll probably run to the right with Randall. If I'm not mistaken, he was a converted A-back. Just a, He's like a real beefy halfback that we just moved over. Do something. Ah, oh, good stiff arm. Get a first, no, well, not a first down, but pick up some yards. Second and six. He's still feeling kind of okay. So we could do the same thing here. Sort of like a fullback dive from, there's a blast. Let's try blast from wide. Literally the first time I think I've ever called this play, like ever. I'm not a big wishbone guy, so you don't see me run this offense too often until like just now. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the right again. Then after that, we'll go back to one of our A-backs. I had to cut up to the left. Defensive end picked me up pretty easily. Makes it, what, third and five? Let's just go back to power. They finally took their first string out. Birchie is, I, I got to go to Allen, unfortunately. Birchie is a B-back. I don't know if he can handle that. Well, actually, let's just make it, let's, let's do that. Let's go to Birchie. That way Allen doesn't have to run it. I don't have any expectations on this play because I think Birchie's got like 80 speed. Yeah, he got blasted. Okay, that's fine. So we are going to kick a field goal. Maybe we can hang 52 on him. That'd be cool. Gardner, not to be confused with Gardner with a D. We haven't had to kick many field goals with him this year. That's both good and bad, I guess. I'm going to kick it like here. Let's see if he can make this, and then we'll finish out the rest of the game. Get down to a few seconds, and we'll... Ah, I think that's a good one. Good job, Al. 52 points. I guess this is our best offensive outing on the season, and we don't even have a star quarterback today. We didn't need him. We had Allen. They were just weak on that right side in terms of stopping it. He's the one who ended up with all the touchdowns, at least. So if you wanted to, depending on your offense and what your goals are, you can seriously break about any record you could think of in this game. Close to it. On offense, you can. Defense is where it gets kind of tricky. But all things are possible in this game. Let's see what they do here. They're going to continue the pass. Going RPO. P.A. Reed. I'm going to pick up five or so there. Second and four. I'm going to go four, two, five, cover three. Bass is back in the gun. So their quarterback ended up being their MVP of the day. Bless their hearts. And he was bad. No offense to him. 
Nice easy tip. Almost got his own interception there. Would have been pretty cool. Third and four. I think they are going to run the ball. It's third and four. So I'm going to go one high on this one. I'm going to do something like this. He got spooked off the play action. Was he feeling the heat? I guess. It doesn't matter. We're going to get the ball here. I'm going to take a knee once we get it. And then we'll get out of here. We got some stuff to look at. I really hope that outside linebacker will hold on for one more week. We can get him to visit. We're going to find that out here in about five minutes. 41 seconds to go. QB Neal. We'll do this a couple of times. Again, I'm not trying to do any style points. We just got to get the win and move on. If we would have beat Miami of Ohio last game, I would have kept my first string in probably some in the third quarter, but we just can't take the chance. We've had just some bad injuries this season. But again, I think Miami of Ohio lost this week, so that should help us a little. They still got the tiebreaker. We need them to lose one more. There's still plenty of games left for that to happen. And that should be it right there. 52-7. to seven. Congrats to everybody on the team. Just a great game throughout. Offense, defense, special teams, complete domination. And you love to see it. Good bounce back win. So let's go look at some stats. i got to get through the campus challenge thing first. And I've said this before. One day I'll eventually use that campus challenge points for something. Maybe get some more historical teams in there. I think there's some like all-time teams I can unlock. One day I'll do that. Let's go stats and scores. 499 to 174. And we pretty much took an entire half off. 426 yards on the ground. We didn't throw the ball once in the second half. We didn't have to. 85% on third down. And technically that could have been 100%. The last one, that last third down was the one we did not convert. That's how good of a game we had with that. Our second string just couldn't do it. But 33% for them. They had one turnover. One too many, apparently. But Ferguson, 5 for 5, 73 yards, again, all in the first half. A lot of this was done in the first half. Allen had 210 yards in the five touchdowns. Gardner with 89. Newell with 88 and a touchdown. Rich had 32. A lot of people got to run the ball today, as you can tell. Receiving, nothing changed. We didn't run the ball or throw the ball any of the second half. Defensively, Stokes led in tackles. All this, again, was all in the first half. He had the one tackle for loss, no sacks, and there were no interception so let's get out of here got some stuff to look at i do want i don't want to save it yet let's sim the week fingers crossed hopefully that linebacker doesn't commit we may have a bye week right here if i'm not no next week is definitely toledo my bad so yes that is the next game coming up it's the biggest game of the season for recruiting, and even though I'm, I may just take a serious break from Dynasty, it still matters that we got to get that game won. But they're seven to one on the year, so we'll see. Let's go look at top twenty-five for the week. Tennessee having a bad year. South Carolina, number one team in the country, beat them. Then Oklahoma, Purdue, NC State won. Then you got Florida State, Miami, Florida, UCLA got upset. Uh, USC, Arizona State, Texas A&M. Texas Tech, then we got Oregon State, Nebraska, Iowa got upset, and Michigan won. All right, recruiting. He's still there. Whoo! Thank the Lord. So here we got Drew McCoy, Toledo game. He just won't tell us anything. So he doesn't care about playing time. He doesn't care about coach prestige. So we're going to leave it at program prestige, okay? Next, Bruce Lucas. Location. Program prestige, coaching style. So I'm going to go to coach prestige. That's usually the next most popular one. The tight end, Scott Harwell, still doesn't know what he is into. He still won't narrow down to his top three, just for whatever reason. Then we got Jared Dawson. Program prestige, coaching style, and academics, which means we're going to do coach prestige. Yes, we're going to go with Coach Prestige on that one. So we are in great shape for all of these guys. We may get a couple of commitments, if not all three, if we can beat Toledo. That's going to be a challenge, though. Let's go to Sports Illustrated. Bowl rankings. You got South Carolina, Michigan, Nebraska, NC State, Florida State, so on and so forth. 
You go to Heisman Watch, Michigan halfback Mike Hart. Uh, we went up against him earlier in the season. You got Florida State uh, quarterback Xavier Lee, and what Arizona State quarterback Derek Shaw, Oregon State wide receiver and quarterback for Nebraska Harrison Beck. I remember him from back in the day. Awards. This is the first time we got to see this this season. Do we have anybody on here? We'll see. I'm going to quickly go through these. I'm trying to think. I don't know. Maybe an, an A-back. Maybe Gardner. There is Gardner right there. So he's got 15 touchdowns. He is ninth. I think that's where he was at last season with this award. But there he is on the list. Wide receiver? No, of course not. No for tight end. Offensive lineman? Maybe. Nope. Remington? Maybe. Nope. Lombardi? We got linebacker, we got Thorpe, Groza, punter, no, coach, no, because we've lost too much. Returner, no, and there's coach. So the only award we are up for is the Walker Award, and it's not even not much to get, get excited about. We're ninth, unless he just really piles on the, the stats for the next several games. We're just not going to win any awards individually, which is fine. Let's go to Players of the Week. Nationally quarterback for Rice, which is odd to see because they run an option offense, but he had five touchdowns so and 42 carries. So this, okay, that's rushing touchdowns. Okay, I was fixing to say, great game. Look at that, 42 carries for a quarterback in one game. Insane. Outside linebacker for Temple had a good game. Let's go over to the Mac. Good job, Allen. He deserved it. Five touchdowns, 210 yards. He done his thing. And an outside linebacker for Ohio had a good game. Conference standings. This will be interesting. So here we are in the East. It's us, Ohio, and Miami of Ohio. But Miami of Ohio's got the tiebreaker, but thankfully they got beat. There's still four more games to be played. Hopefully they can lose a few more. We have not played Ohio yet. So that's going to be a very big game for us. Look at the team info screen. So guess what? Big Carlton Jackson is back, and I don't need to forget. I'm going to make a note. Jackson depth chart or Jackson formation subs. Form subs. I do not need to forget to make those changes so he gets back in the starting spot for every one of those formations. But Pace is out for one more week. It would have been nice to have him for the Toledo game, but it is what it is. Ferguson, Gardner, Williams, Butler, Grant Walker. A lot of that's been pretty consistent all season. Let's go over to Toledo. Over in the West, they are killing it in their division. They got a wide receiver out for a long time. They got a middle linebacker out for the rest of the season. But look at their quarterback. 23 touchdowns, only one interception. That's highly impressive. Very hard to do. Their running back is averaging almost 100 yards a game. We'll see if he's an impact guy or not. They got a wide receiver putting up almost 100 yards a game and a bunch of random dudes on defense doing their thing. So this is the biggest game of the season. It's not a division game, but it is a recruit game. We got three prospects coming in. We need to win in order to get some of those commitments, but they are one of the best offenses in the country. Their total defense has been exceptional. I mean, they're just having a great season. They're probably the best team in the conference, so it's going to be a heck of a showdown. they got more talent than we do. Just really good across the board. It should be a whole lot of fun. Hopefully we can pull off the upset. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.